Welcome to the show. Hi, Lily. Thank you. I'm so excited to have you here. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. My fellow internet girl. Yes. Obviously, you two know each other. Yes. yes. You've worked together previously on TV. Yeah, she was uh, on my show. Yeah, yes. late night show. Quinta, do you still stay in touch with Larry? Yes, I harass Larry at any <laughs> chance I get. Uh, whenever I see a Tesla riding down the street, I call Larry, and I'm like, did you just ride down Ventura? <laughs> and he's like, no, Quinta, more than one person drives a Tesla in L.A. Please stop texting me. <laughs> uh, I think she puts me on blast on TV for having a Tesla. Oh, I mean... <laughs> I know, God, how pretentious of you, Larry. I'm Honda Civic, Honda Civic. Yeah, that's pretentious. I'm saving the environment, Lily. I have a Tesla. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. So, Larry, hanging out with Quinta, I can imagine, yeah. is a blast. Are there any particularly funny moments while hanging out with Quinta? Oh, my Thanks. God, oh. it's too many. We were working on this project last year, and this was such a... This is such an interesting day. The day when the Jesse Smollett stuff happened. <laughs> okay. Larry, of all the stories. I know, but I have to tell this. I have to tell this. Because... And it's... The, I'm saying the day it happened, right? Mm -hmm, the day. So we're getting the news. There's, like, a pause in the room. It's me, Quinta, and Jermaine, a friend, you know, working on this project. <laughs> Should I say Jermaine? Yeah, drag him in. You're dragging me down. Drag Jermaine okay. down, too. But here's what it said. I'm like this. That <laughs> did it. <laughs> and she's we like... I think so too. We lying. <laughs> and we, we felt bad about being right, but yes. we also are people who like to be right. So it was nice yes. by the end when it was right. But we all like had a spidey sense that something was wrong. But then of course we started laughing and made all the most inappropriate jokes. Yeah, so, that we will not make on television. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Stayed in that room. But I love um, the lack of filter already. Thank you for being so honest. Yeah. I love that. Oh, I love that. It's because it's late with Luke. That's what's up. It's late. It's 1.30 a.m. Y'all, we yeah. out here. Yeah. <laughs> Take me back. I mean, before you ever met Larry, before all of this happened, you worked at the Apple store, is that correct? I did. I worked at Apple, yeah. Yes. Yep. What's the craziest experience you ever had working at the Apple store? The craziest thing that ever happened to me <laughs> working at the Apple store was I had to take an iPhone appointment for a dog. For, for, for a dog. And I was, I was the person you go see who fixes your phone and your iPads. Not a genius, but a FRS. It's a different level. And um, basically, a woman came in, and she was like an ex-Hollywood socialite, and she was on her Xanax and her other drugs, and she came in. <laughs> and she came to me, and she was like, I need help with this on my phone right now. Please, thank you. And I was like, all right, what's up? And she's like, this app is not working. And it won't work. And I was like, what? All right. I was like, what's wrong with it? Let me take a look. So I look at her app, and I'm like, it seems to be working fine to me. Mm. And she's like, well, his paw doesn't work on it. <laughs> no. And I said, excuse me? And she's like, his paw. And there was a small dog in her bag that I did not notice. <laughs> does not work. And I had to say, ma'am, these products are made for humans. I can't believe I'm saying this. Uh, <laughs> and so she's like, I'd like to speak to your manager. <laughs> So I had to get my manager. I was like, this will brighten up his day. Um, <laughs> and, you know, I left at that point. But, yeah, I took a, an appointment for, for a small poodle dog. No, that I can't That's stand um, crazy dog moms like that. That's so <laughs> weird. Um, Wait, no, it's, Lily, was it you? No, what? <laughs> the people be crazy out here. People love to play. Uh, so you've come a long, long way since then, though, from working yeah. at the Apple Store. I don't know if you all know this, but you were part of the Apple Keynote in a very yes. special way. I have a picture up here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, no. Give me a punch in. OK. <laughs> yes. Wow. How did this feel? It was, I mean, the glow up. <laughs> That's what it felt like. I was looking at that in the back of an Uber, and I was like, wow, this is a little bit of a glow up to go mm -hmm. from fixing phones and watching the keynotes, you know, in the back of an Apple store to actually being on the Yes. Yeah. That's what it's all about hard work, perseverance, talent, right here, right here. Well, thank you. Um, but from an iconic moment, <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about an iconic character. Okay. Because, Larry, oh you played Mr. Brown on the Unforgettable Diversity Day episode uh, on yeah. The Office. Yeah. Uh, Here's the picture. I need to know, what was it like being part of this scene? That was uh, many hairs ago. <laughs> <laughs> this was, guys, this was so much fun. You have no idea, Lily. I mean, no one, we, we were kind of doing the show in the dark at this point because we hadn't aired, you know? Mm -hmm. And this bit right here, of course, 
<laughs> you know, Steve Carell was talking about the Chris Rock bit. I don't even think we could do this bit on TV now. You know? <laughs> you and can't. he's still in the bit and he's saying, and the and the I didn't say the end part, but and the That can make it better for TV, Larry, oh, but go true. ahead. <laughs> G-G-A-S, but not the end. I, <laughs> Sorry. I could be saying wiggers. Yeah. Saying, you know, but he was... I, this so, is great. We are one thirty. Lily, we were crying laughing. It was just... And yeah. through the whole... Not just that part, but the whole thing. We were just crying. Like, I think we knew... We, this show has to be funny, you know, because yeah. it can't make us laugh like this. Mm -hmm. you know? It was so much fun. Oh, well, thank you for that iconic... Oh, no. I'm happy to be part of it. I feel like even know who to be more jealous of. I mean, you <laughs> both do such cool things. But then, let's talk about you for a second because you just casually chilling with Issa Rae at, during her yacht party, <laughs> her exclusive yacht party. We have a picture from this crazy yacht party. I mean, yeah, that's this me looks like, right there. Wait, where are you? In the pink, that's Right me. there in the yeah. pink? I didn't know what to Praising wear. Praising the Lord so on like, the yacht party. Yeah, I went to go get, like, a sailor's outfit because I thought that was what to, to wear, but that wasn't the dress code, as you can see. Well, Larry, you and Issa are close as well. Tell me your mm -hmm. experience on the yacht party. Oh. I don't have an experience. <laughs> Oh, you don't have an experience. Why is that? Maybe a brother's invitation got lost in the mail. Oh! I'm, I'm, not, sure hey, I'm not insecure that. about it. <laughs> no. I, I'm sure that's what happened. I'm sure that's what happened. Yeah. You know, I've, that's so I've funny because been... my invitation is probably where your invitation is as well because <laughs> I've never been invited either. It seems that you're the only one that's ever gotten invited. But I'll tell you what, Lily, here's the thing. A lot of, packing a lot of brothers on a boat still scares me historically. So, <laughs> so it is one of those moments. And then... What, that's an O? I do. <laughs> it doesn't scare you. <laughs> Larry, you not only helped to create Insecure, but also lent a hand in, yeah, so many things. Also in Blackish, the Bernie Mac show, the PJs. Oh. Basically, everything original and out of color. And Thanks, you're sorry. right now in the midst of a four year development deal with Universal. Congratulations. Yeah, very